The last boss leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you all right? Don't stay here. No, please don't hurt me. You're gonna bring me. What are we gonna do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Just get up there like rats. The more you look, the more you buy. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. I'm freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks to clean up There are soldiers everywhere. Far we need to be careful. Get moving. Hurry up. Get in. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to. Got orders to check all civilians. No. No. Please. Alice. She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice! Luther! I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time.
checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Say so. ID, please. They do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She... She's cold. We really have to get her home fast. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus for the border is full. Passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? She yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. 
I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You can't have lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The, the envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know Please. what happened. They were right here in my bag. I... Jerry, check. Please don't move. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? Will they die because of us? No. No, of course not. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Right, that should do it. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Are you all right? Shot into the crowd. Many of us were killed. It could have been me. I'm scared. I, I don't want to shut down. It's okay to be scared. 
and I'm scared too. But I can't stand by while they kill our people. You understand that, right? Maybe we should have never asked for freedom. None of this would have happened if we'd stayed silent. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. I don't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're slaughtering us on the other side of that barbed wire. Nothing we can do about it. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history.
won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? I've come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm unarmed, Marcus. I just want to talk. I need to hear what he has to say. What if they kill you? And that's a chance I'll have to take. be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. If I accept your offer, how do I know you'll keep your word? You're not in any position to be demanding guarantees, Marcus. All you can do right now is decide whether you want to trust me or not. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. You could be free, Marcus. To live among the humans. You could have what you've always dreamed of. The lives of your people. Freedom for you. All you have to do is say the word. I'd rather die here then betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. That human means nothing to me. 
You can kill him if you want, I don't care. I have access to your memory. I know you've developed some kind of attachment to him. Are you really ready to let him die after all you've been through? Are you really going to turn your back on who you've become? Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right, all right. You win. manage without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead and do what you gotta do.
Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. This way, please. your life to save us, Carl. Next, please. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. I saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. And what about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are gonna meet them on the other side. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. What's happening with Marcus? He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. Thank you. 
I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Next, please. ID, please. Welcome to Canada. We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. and we want to be free!
around today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. The humans are abandoning the camp. We won! You should speak to them. Me? Marcus is gone, and everyone from Jericho is dead. You're the one who defeated the humans. You're the one who awakened us, Connor. Done, Connor. Everything went according to plan. What plan? You becoming deviant? The success of the uprising? It all surpassed our expectations. We engineered an android revolution, and now we control its only leader. Congratulations. You represent an immense success for Cyberlife. It all worked perfectly. You can't ruin it all now! Sorry, Connor, but we can't let you do that. There's got to be a way. 